How you doing this wet Sunday evening? Well, afternoon. I am wonderful. I can't complain. I've had a long... Well, it wasn't long. Let me take that lie back. I, it, it seemed like it was short weekend. And you know, guys, one Sunday come, it's a wrap. So, whew, back to the grind. I promise you I need to find me a... Rich sugar daddy. How about that? So anyway, my cousin was like, Sean, can you make a video where you're not reviewing anything? <coughs> where you just being you, just your goofy old self. And I was like, oh, okay. Hmm, I guess so. You know, is there anything specific you want me to talk about? And, but, uh... So, since I don't have a topic, I'm just going to talk so I can give her a video where I am not talking about a show, okay? So, guys, do you remember I had told you guys that I felt like someone had their eye on me? And I'm hoping it's not a dirty eye. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping it's not a pervert that's looking at me because then I'll be disgusted. But I'm hoping, well... So, I'm thinking, hmm, I just can't shake it. I'm like, okay, someone, you know, is looking at me. You see my fireplace up there? It is so cute. Like, my cousin came and rearranged. The same cousin that wanted this video without me talking. You know, she's so demanding. You know what I'm saying? She rearranged my men up top. Very pretty. Very cute. And, um... So, um, yeah, I told you guys a few weeks ago, I was like, I don't know. I feel like somebody is, you know, looking at me or whatever, but maybe he's afraid to approach me. I don't know why he would be afraid, but mm, I don't know. You know, I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like somebody is. And so, like, uh, when I change my hair to this because isn't it cute i know um i got a few compliments at work and i was like oh okay you know cool 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 because i'm gonna tell you guys i am a plus size girl and sexy comes in all shapes sizes skin tones ethnicities it comes in everything sexy to me is a state of mind and if you have low self-esteem or you don't feel sexy you you need to do what you need to to make yourself feel that way like for instance ladies i have a question do you have you ever taken yourself to the movies have you ever Fix a nice T-bone steak and baked potato and poured you up a nice glass of wine or, or whatever and put your candle on the table or, you know, however, whatever you want to do. Have you ever did that for yourself? And if you haven't or, you know, ran your bubble bath and lit the candles and just relaxed and, you know, maybe played some slow music in the background, something relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Or just went shopping and bought you some lingerie. And, you know, because you have to love we. I'm just not going to say you. We have to love ourselves. We have to um, cherish ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I love me. I won't even lie. I'm not stuck up or sedated or anything, but <laughs> I don't have low self-esteem because, like I told you, I would give a little girl, and that's why I call her a little girl, a run for her money. I'm totally in love with me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm the sexiest thing walking. But you have to have that, ladies, you, we, we, I keep saying you, but I'm saying we, I'm included. We have to love it, love ourselves, own it. You know, if some men have said, you're ugly, you you know, you're fat, you, you ugly. Throw that out your head, baby, and just love you. 
You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't love you, how can somebody else deeply love you? You know what I'm saying? You have to, ladies. It's very important. Don't let a man rob you of your self-esteem. You know, don't let a man make you feel less than a woman. Because to me, there is nothing sexier than a lady that's full of confidence about herself. You know what I'm saying, ladies? Like, let's be real. We're women. We are women. Have you guys ever, you know, you know, like when you're in the mood and uh, you have company? Because, you know, <laughs> and you have company and, you know, you're about to do the do or whatever. And you run and jump under the covers because, you, you know, I don't want to see my body and, you know, my, are you serious? And I've, I've heard, I've had conversations with women over the years who who's, who have said stuff like that, who have mentioned it. I don't like my body, so I undress under the covers, or or I don't, you know, get undressed in front of him. Why not get undressed in front of him with the light on, sweetie? Love every inch, every curve. You have to love you guys. You know, maybe this is my encouragement video. You have to love you. You do. You have to love yourself. You have to, you know, because sex and, and, and women, please realize, please, please, please. I'm hoping I'm talking to those who have been around for a while. And even if you're young and just now experiencing some things, baby. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me tell you this. There are some men who like sticks. That's their preference. Everybody is entitled to their preference, right? There are some men who like women, high yellow, you know. There are some men who like women, dark skin. There are some men who like women, a buck oh five. Or, you know, there are some women who like, you know, chubby. You know, men, everybody have a preference, you know. There are some men who say, I would never date a, a, a plus-size chick, and you sit on with a plus-size chick because, you know what I'm saying, she catered to his ego. He saw she was bad. Oh, she can dress. She's cute. And every time, you know, I see her, she's cute, and she's dressed up, and, you know, she's rocking. He had to let that stereotype go. Then again, you have some women who, uh, <laughs> Oh, God, I remember, y'all, I, I, they just brought back this memory for me. I remember I met this girl. Me and my friend went out to this club back in the day. And this little skinny girl, she was like, all I date is big men because I know we're going to eat. You know? <laughs> and I was floored. I was like, oh, my God, this girl is crazy. But she was so real. She was so honest. And that's how she felt. And so you have some people, they only want to date a thick guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Women have a, their preference. My preference is a tall, dark-skinned dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not so into you have to be gorgeous and all that because, you, you know, looks is not everything. You just, I mean... Of course, you know, I mean, you can't look so bad to where, you know, if I look at you too fast, I might, you know, have a heart attack or something. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm, I'm just saying I'm not really into looks because as you start talking to a person and get to know them, you know, and you get in their head and you see what their mindset, you can look... Ugly will turn into cute. You know what I'm saying? Ugly will turn into tolerable. Ugly would turn into comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So you you can't I don't I'm not I'm not just I guess I'm not just um um what's the word I'm thinking of? I can't think of that word guys. I know I'm I'm just not um guys I can't believe I went blank. You know the word I'm talk I'm thinking of when so it's not so did and stuck up. It's um, but anyway, you know what what I'm. You guys know what I'm think I'm thinking of. I'm not that way. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I like to get to know people. I like people to get to know me. And there are a lot of shades to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I have to raise my hand and say, hi, I'm Sunshine Buchanan. And I am flawed. Very, very flawed. You notice my hand is up. Let me show you. My hand is up. (laughs) I'm Sunshine Buchanan and I am flawed. I have issues. I'm not a morning person. I'm, you know, I am super friendly, but I'm just not a morning person. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, some people like, you know, you, you kind of throw or whatever, you know, I tend to say how I'm feeling, you know, but let me tell you why guys, let me tell you why I dated a guy. And he did a lot of stuff I didn't care for, right? But I was like, you know, hey, he was fine. He was chocolate and he was, oh, he was just all that. So a lot of stuff I didn't even complain about. I was like, okay, you know, I'll put up with it. That's me now. I'll I put up with it. And then I started, I started feeling like he was taking me for granted. Mind you, I'm in my 20s at the time, so, you know, I'm 44. I was in my 20s. So, I wouldn't say anything, and I was just letting it slide, letting it slide, letting it slide. Finally, I got tired and blew up, right? First thing I asked, you should have said, you, you, why would you, you know, if you didn't like something, why didn't you say this and whatever? And what, so we had this big blow up and mind you, we broke up and I moved on, right? Some years later and he had to have some more of Shonda. <laughs> he had to, he was honey, he learned, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you some guys, women. A man or a good woman. I don't care how many times or how many women he dates. He know the trash. He know the treasure. You know what I'm saying? A man know. You you don't have to tell him. You don't have to do. Uh, you shouldn't have to do. Go over and above and beyond to prove yourself. I'm not trash. He know you're not trash. You know what I'm saying? He know you're not trash. He know what you are. He know all that trying to. You know, I'm not trying to convince a man of anything. Convince you of what? Con- Do you know how many men there are that are single and available? But guys, I'm going to tell you, I was in my 20s. So I will tell anybody, you in your 20s, you have room for error. You do. You have room for error because you're learning. You know, I, you're learning. But by the time you hit your 30s, you have learned. And surely, by the time you hit 40, anything, game recognized game, game over. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I learned. And like I said, I had I, I didn't have a filter. I used to just say whatever I felt. If I thought it came off the tip of my tongue, I said it. But you will meet people who you don't want to hurt their feelings or... If you invested in in them, you, you know, you will go around, you know, and and not say or not say it as roughly as you would have said it. You know, it just depends. I guess this is a relationship <clears throat> video. You know, you have to learn love yourself late as you do. And I tell you, like I said, I, I promise you, when I put on my clothes and fix my hair and fix my face, baby... You can't tell me nothing. And baby, I, I have never been intimidated by nobody. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, you know, I feel like this. A man know what he got. A, a man know what he's losing out on. And he know what he's lost. So, if you know you are what that is. You know you gave your all. You know you didn't cheat on him. You know you, you catered to him. He the one missed out. You save all that for the next man. Don't give this man 20 years of your life. 
catering to him and being his everything and helping him with bills and kids and and then at the end of it he leave you and go with somebody else don't do that don't do that to yourself because we deserve way better we deserve way better than at the end of a, a relationship you are alone you don't help this man raise his kids and you by yourself and then the kids probably don't even speak to you or, or even acknowledge the fact that you help raise them so no don't do that no, I'm not giving a man 20 years of my life. I'm not going to be your girlfriend like that. You know, I think maybe, you know, if you're in your early 20s and you date a man for five years, six years, whatever, that's possible. It's, and it's doable because think about it. You're only 30 at the end of those five years. You're 30. But I'm not going to give you 10 years and I'm in my 30s. You know. And in my 40s, I'm not even giving you five. If I'm not what you want in a year, right? If at the end of this year, we haven't decided I'm your piece of cake, you're my piece of pie, we need to split ways. I'm not giving a man all my time like that. I'm not. And I don't even have men around my children like that. You know, I don't do that. So, ladies, you know, if I had to give you some advice, I would just say, you know, don't have all these different men around your children. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, don't have all your kids calling Uncle Bobby and, you know, every man you sleep with or every man you bring over. Because some, some people, you, your kids don't have to see. It ain't that serious. If it's a booty call... Your kids don't have to even know Bobby was even there. You know what I'm saying? Just some advice. You know what I'm saying? Why have Bobby, Ricky, Johnny, Jimmy, in and out? And your kids see, you know, you Mr. Henry? No, I'm Charles. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm I'm Leroy. I'm, I'm Leon. I'm whoever. Your kids just keep seeing men out the man. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself nor your children. Like I said, kid, a man shouldn't come around your you and around your children until you know for a fact he's gonna you're gonna be with him for longer than a month, two months, you know, three months. You know, that's just some helpful advice because, like I said, I've been around a while and you know, I've never brought men around my kids like that. But I'm just saying a lot of things I've learned from trial and error, a lot of mistakes I made. Especially, like I said, being silent. Somebody step on your toe, you let them know. Excuse me, sir, you stepped on my toe. Because if you don't, they're going to keep stepping on your toe. If you allow a man to cheat, he's going to cheat. If you know he's cheating, but you don't want to change, you don't want to try something different, you don't want to be alone because women, let's be real, some of us don't want to be alone. You don't want that, you know. We, we we rather we'll put up with anything. Oh, he can bring another woman into your house, and you know he's driving your car with the woman, and it's just so much. You're doing so much because you don't want to be alone. And I'm glad I'm. I have never been that way. But women, love yourself. Take pride in yourself. If you have low self-esteem, build your esteem up because you're beautiful. If no one has ever told you you're beautiful, Sunshine Buchanan is saying you're beautiful. You're worth it. You're worth a man thinking of you. He's at work and he can't do his job because you're on his mind. You're worth it. You're worth it. All of us is worth it. And I even think men are. You know, you're worth some woman sitting there at work daydreaming about you. You're worth some woman saying, huh? Oh, you know, I just want to, you know, lay in his arms. I just want to hear him talk. I just want to see him sleep. I think we're all worth it as humans. Everybody is worth love. Everybody is worth trust, respect. Everybody is worth second chances. You know, I, I believe in second chances. I believe everybody deserves a second chance. I believe everybody deserves it. So, ladies, if you don't love yourself, start loving yourself. You know, keep to fix yourself up. Fix your hair. Um, 
you know, buy you some sexy lingerie, you know, treat yourself out to a movie, treat yourself out to dinner, you know, you deserve it, you're worth it. And if a man isn't doing that for you, do it for yourself. Treat yourself out to eat, you know, to a nice expensive meal, you're worth it. You're worth it. Go to the beauty shop and get your hair fixed. You know, you are worth it. You are. Don't let nobody treat you like a doormat. You're worth it. And if he can't see that you are a pearl, let him go. If a man can't treat you like a queen, the queen that you are, baby, let him go. If he can't be faithful and honest, let him go. That's just a little information, advice from Sunshine Buchanan. And like I said, I have lived, I have learned, I have loved, I have been hurt, I have hurt people, I have been hurt, you know what I'm saying? You, It's, it's a lesson, life is a lesson. And it's, it's how we choose to go forward, how the outcome play out. If all you want to do is cheat and hurt people, that's what's going to get done to you. But if you have been in a relationship and you have been crushed and, you know, God has blessed you and you stood back up on your feet and you want to forge ahead and move forward and be happy, you be that. But don't dish out hate. Don't dish out uh, abuse. Don't dish out cheating. Don't dish out non-trusting and think you're going to get all this love and stuff in return. It's not, it don't work like that. If someone dogs you out, pick yourself back up. Say, you know what? I know the next time. And don't be so quick to jump in relationships. And don't be so quick to jump in bed with people. 